guys, good morning. It is Saturday morning. I think it's about 10, 15 a.m. Um, we got up a little while ago. Georgia's whining because she wants to come and eat Lola's food. Um, and today we are just gonna do some like boring adult stuff, but I figured it would be fun to vlog anyway. Oh, I got my nails done by the way. I don't know how I feel about them. Not sure. Um, I've been like trying to find a nail salon around here because like I freaking love my girls at D&D so much, like so, so much, but it's an hour ride. And like, sometimes I just don't have the time to drive an hour there and an hour back. It's like a whole day thing. So I've been trying to find like a nail salon around here. Um, so I went to this one, I tried it out. Not my favorite, not my favorite, but um, like I already had to like refile them and like file the corners and stuff, but cause they're already like lifting and I just got them done on Wednesday, today's Saturday. So there's a couple more I wanna try. I have an appointment for the end of the month at a different one. Um, so yeah, enjoy this lovely pimple on my chin. I'm getting my period. I need to like pop that or do something to it. Um, and yeah, we're gonna go to Costco. We are gonna go to Target and just do like boring adult stuff and probably come home. Dan's like already started the laundry. Like that's what we're doing today. Um, rainy what? It's a, rainy day. it's a rainy day. It's just like a day to like refill all the stuff we need, do adult stuff. And then tomorrow's gonna be a nice day. So maybe we'll take the dog somewhere on a walk or something. I think it's gonna be like sunny and in the seventies. So it's like perfect weather. So yeah, that's the plan. You, I need, you wanna go to my mom? Oh, to your mom's? Maybe, yeah. Maybe a haircut. Oh, yeah, I forgot. What's in your hand? Is she covered? Oh, yeah. Oh, let me tell you the story, guys. So, <laughs> you guys know that I work Thursday and Friday away from the house, like literally back in my hometown. And Dan has to take care of the dogs by himself, like I do every single day, right? No big deal. So, <clears throat> Mr. Cr I thought he was still there. Oh, he is. Mr. Cruz himself um put georgia in the crate upstairs and he must not have <laughs> like pushed the latch all the way through so like it was only it's a bad latch it's not a bad latch <laughs> it's not you just don't know how to work it he only pushed it through like halfway and so he went to work um and then he came home and she had gotten out of the crate and she's a puppy. So she had peed and pooped and stepped in it and walked all over the bed and walked all oh, over our everywhere. ruggable and all over everything. <laughs> Dan. The upholstery, like pillows, whatever. Dan calls me and he's like, I'm at work. And he calls me and he's like, you gotta come home. You gotta come home. You're like, he's like, I can't deal with this. I can't take it. The dog, Georgia got out of her crate. She peed and pooped everywhere. I don't know what to do. He was like panicking. But I didn't see his text because I was at work. So I didn't see it for like a half hour later. So I was like, what? Really? I thought he was like messing with me. And, um. And he texted me back. He's like, okay, it's fine. I got it under control. So like that extra half an hour that I didn't answer him and it wasn't on purpose, but it just like gave him the extra time to like <laughs> think it through. Um, but luckily we have a ruggable rug again upstairs. So like you just peel off the top piece, you throw it in the wash, it's no big deal. Um, we, he stripped the bed. He like sanitized everything in the room that could be sanitized, literally everything. He mopped the floor. What are we painting too? Yeah, oh yeah. She also scratched up the door. Not the barn door, thank God, but like the door to the stair. She scratched it up, so Dan has to sand it a little bit and paint it. But that's life with a puppy. Don't even. <laughs> Not happy. It's unfortunate, yeah. It is what it is. I mean, you can't be mad at her. She's cute as a button, but. Yeah. I mean, she didn't mean it. She just didn't understand what was going on. No, but it's like, I just asked myself, like, she had a whole room to run around in, so how does she still step on her own poop and then hit every single surface in that room? Like, <laughs> I was just, like, I was more impressed about that. I was like, wow. Like, and I still had to give her a bath after all that, too, so. Yeah, so. Say hi to the camera. Ew. Hmm? 
She's getting so Definitely. big. So that was Dan's night last night. So I ended up going to Target, picking up a new set of sheets, another, oh, no. we're not in focus, sorry. Um, I ended up going to Target, picking up a new set of sheets, picking up a new comforter, like a down comforter. I got the one from Casa Luna. It's like down alternative. Really nice. Mid-weight down alternative feather. Well, it's not feathers because it's down alternative, but it's like a fill. Duvet, it's so nice. Easy. Hey, what'd you say? It means it'll wash easy. Yeah, so I have a real duvet, like with real feathers in it that we use like in the winter time and we had it on the bed. It's awesome, it's not it's dog friendly. It's so good, it's so comfy, it's so like heavy though and it's not dog friendly because like if there was an accident, it which there has out. been, you throw it in the wash and then all the feathers get so wet that it takes forever to dry. And then it shrinks and it's really... What'd you get on Amazon? Uh, air conditioner window bracket. The AC is going to be massive that I'm putting up in that room. What do you do for it? What is it? Oh, it's just to support it? Yeah, like I have to drill this into the sill and then like it hangs out. So like that way the AC doesn't Outside like, or inside? Outside. Okay. So it, it sits outside and then um, the windows are so little upstairs, like the AC's like 70 pounds. So it's like hanging on the window. The window's like oh, Okay, so it just gives it a little, it's it like a bra. Yeah, it helps it basically, yeah. Love that. Love that for you. Um, conveniently, I had just ordered a new duvet cover for our duvet, which was like perfect timing. I didn't do it. I mean, I did it because I was like, we need another one because the white one just gets dingy so quickly. And so yeah, that should be coming today sometime. Anyways. I think we're gonna be ordering another cheapy one too. So I just toss that one out. You did? It just wasn't worth it? You hit it with a permanent marker by accident and then it just... Oh, I did, I did. When I was cutting my, um... <laughs> when I was cutting my jeans into shorts, I did it on the bed because I was like, I should have done it on the floor, but then he would have been even more pissed if I got Sharpie on the hardwood. So I was like cutting the, like drawing the line and I got Sharpie on the bed. Or on the duvet cover, but it would have came off with the full X. But it's just done. It's seen so better it days. It wasn't worth it. It's seen better days, After so. the fiasco last night. Life with dogs. I feel like life with children is gonna be somewhat similar. My mother's calling me. This is my outfit today. I don't know if I look ridiculous. I mean, it's just very comfortable and it's very gross out. My hair is sopping wet in a bun. Um, I don't know, fanny pack? I don't know if we eat. I mean, we're doing it, but I don't know if I'm gonna get a million stares. Pop, probably. And then Daniel has the audacity to look cute. He's like, oh, just let's throw clothes on and let's go. And he's like, oh, let me wear my new t-shirt. Like, bye, and the hat backwards, bye. It's just a simple, it's, it's, it's a not look. simple. You look cute and I look devilish. Okay, guys. Oh, it's bright. Hello. We <laughs> Hello. <laughs> we just got back from Costco. I had to keep the camera here to charge, but just take a look at our trunk. It's just like, this is like, look at this. I mean, if you go to Costco and your trunk doesn't look like this, did you even go to Costco? Uh, yeah. I mean, I see, I feel like we go like once every three months, maybe. So we literally go yeah. like four times a year. So we stock up. It's a good, good little haul. It is, it's definitely a good haul. <laughs> I don't think I've ever gotten this much stuff at Costco. Going on a walk, and a little family walk, with me and my big pimp. Oh, pimple, not pimp. <laughs> oh, it's so nasty. It's a view mark. Everybody's ready to go. Oliver's eating his dinner. He just had his meds, so he's staying home. What a day. What a day. Another day, another bike shore. I mean, really though. <laughs> Tell me this isn't the most comfortable outfit ever. I don't even, I'm not even wearing like a real bra. I'm wearing a little house bra. And I'm just living. We're gonna go to Aldi's, get some groceries for the week, even though we went to Costco yesterday. I just feel like you need to, like there's certain things you don't wanna buy in bulk. Like a lot of, like we bought some fruit and stuff, but like veggies, not buy in bulk. Salad, we could have bought the salad kits there, but. Some things at Costco just aren't worth it. So we are going to Aldi, but first I think we're gonna go to Bath and Body Works because all of our little like wallflowers are empty. 
So I want to get a few of those. All of my body sprays are basically empty. And so we're just bumming. It's a Sunday. This is what the deal is. This is the, this is the fit. This is the fit of the weekend. I mean, honestly, another comfy tee, another bike short, same fanny pack. Um, my shirt and my fanny pack are both from ASOS. These are Forever 21 bike shorts. Fupa is all me, you know. Okay, bye. <laughs> so I know I popped my little friend over here last night and now he's just red and annoying. So love that for me. Um, I'm not gonna bring the camera to Bath and Body Works because they don't want you filming there anyway. And then all these were just running and running out. Um, and then I wanna take another walk with the dogs. Last night we did about a mile and it was pretty good. I mean, Georgia wasn't too tired. Like our, our goal is to try to like tire her out a little bit, but um, Lola was tired. Georgia, not so much. And let me show you Oliver. He is so much better, you guys. Oliver. See him. Come here. Hi, he is him. Lola, leave him alone. Come on. Lola. Hi, he is she. Oliver's doing so much better. He's just living his best life right now. The pregnant zone, thank God, worked. So he is doing much better. And there's the little devil herself. <laughs> Where's the other devil? <laughs> ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, guys, I just have looked rough this entire vlog, so my apologies. Um, but it's like six o'clock at night right now. All the dogs are having quiet time. Lola, Oliver, Georgia. She has to be in the crate because otherwise she'll just never relax. <laughs> um, I cleaned. Dusted, vacuum Swiffer, changed the pillowcases out that were on the couch, washed the blankets, lit some candles, cleaned the kitchen in the bathroom. Um, and Dan's about to, well, he's getting the grill started now. We're gonna have some chicken thighs for dinner and some asparagus on the grill. This is for two nights because um, actually, tomorrow starts Georgia's first puppy training class so so we're probably gonna be there pretty late so we figured like we'll just make leftovers for tomorrow um I picked up this sauce from Costco I don't know how it tastes but I keep seeing a different brand of like zero sugar barbecue sauce I can't remember who it's by there's like a man on the front of it the one I'm thinking of um so I don't know how this one tastes we're gonna put that on the chicken thighs and give it a go um, and then from Bath and Body Works, I got, I got some body sprays. I love body sprays when it's just like every day, like casual type of thing. I love to just like spritz myself and body, body spray and not waste my perfume. So I got Sunshine Mimosa, which smells so good. Denim and Daisies also smells really good and Midsummer Dream. Um, I bought two, got one free. And then we got some wallflowers. So I got, I had to get two new little plug-in, little actual wallflowers. Um, and the scent I got was Honeysuckle and Freesia. It smells so delicious. It's just like such a nice light summer scent. And then Dan liked crisp morning air. It's definitely more like a masculine scent. So I told him we could put it in the bedroom <laughs> and upstairs bathroom. So that's what that's for. And then these four are gonna go down here, one in the kitchen, one in the living room one in the bathroom and one in the dining room. And yeah. Oh my goodness. I'm so tired. I did not sleep well last night. I don't know what it was, but like I was just tossing and turning, tossing and turning, tossing and turning, could not get comfortable, couldn't get into that deep sleep. Oh my God. Also, I had been watching Homeland on Hulu. You guys, probably one of the best shows I've ever watched. It's so, so good. And like, it keeps you on your toes. It's about like the CIA and like international affairs and things like that. It is so, so, so good. If you haven't watched it, I believe the last episode of like the series, like the series finale aired last April. So like, it's it's an older show, but it's not like so, so old. Um, but it was so good. Dan, I, he, didn't, he said he didn't really like it because I guess his dad watched it like when he still lived at home. Um, there was eight seasons, so it's been on for eight years. And he was kind of like, just not into it. So he didn't really watch it with me. I watched it by myself. 
but we're gonna try Ozark next. Dan's dad also watched Homeland, obviously I just said that, and he recommended Ozark. He said it's really good. If I liked Homeland, I probably would like Ozark. So we are gonna start that probably tonight after I jump in the shower. Oh, I'm so tired. And get this food going because I'm also starving. That is probably gonna wrap up my weekend vlog. I know it wasn't too exciting, but I feel it feels good to be back in the game. And yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.